Chapter 10, question 3. One sample has a sum of squares of 36, and the second sample has a sum of squares of 18. If n equals 4 for both samples, find each of the sample variances and compute the pooled variance. Because the sample variances are the same size, you should find that the pooled variance is exactly halfway between the two sample variances. So we need to find the sample variance for the first one, which is the sum of squares divided by the degrees of freedom, which is sum of squares divided by n minus 1. So we take 36 divided by 4 minus 1 divided by 3. And what we get is 12. The variance of the second same formula, so 18 divided by same, same sample size, so divided by 3, and we get 6. These are our two variances, which was the first part. So it says compute, find the sample variances and then compute the pooled variance. The formula to calculate the pooled variance is sum of squares 1 plus sum of squares 2 divided by degrees of freedom 1 plus degrees of freedom 2. So that is 36 plus 18 divided by 3 plus 3. So that's 54 divided by 6, which is equal to 9. And sure enough, that is halfway between 12 and 6, which is what we expect and what we should get, given that the sample sizes are the same.